Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Makulu Linux and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Makulu, con uh, the Makulu constructor. I've been asked quite a few times in chat over the last few weeks uh, how it works and people seem unsure and so I'm just going to do a quick little demo. It's not going to be a very long video, it's just going to show you the basics of what to do with Makulu constructor. Now the constructor tool is actually very easy to use and it's very automated. But before you actually start the constructor tool, you need to back up your home directory. And that's the part I think that everybody s seems to tr struggle with. So basically what the constructor tool allows you to do is make a one-to-one -one clone of your system into a bootable ISO, which you can then reinstall on any other PC. So you can make custom customizations on your system. You can install software, remove software, change the clock, change anything, change backgrounds, change the menu, change the panel, and whatever you, any changes you make will be saved into the new ISO. Okay, so basically you allow, it allows you to respin Makulu, basically at the end of the day. Make your own version, respin it. But you have to back up your home directory first. So first we're going to go into file system, home. Makulu, but because I want to show hidden folders and I want root, I'm going to go right click ho, uh, right click Makulu, open as root. So we open as root. There we go. I'm now in home Makulu. Of course, if you have a different username, it will be home slash your username. Right. So let's close that. Then I'm going to open up a new tab. So now I've got Makulu over there and I've got a new tab here. I'm going to go to etc scale. Let's find scale. Okay, now if you look in the if you look in your home directory, you're going to see a lot of folders there. If you look into Scale, you're also going to see very much a lot of the same folders. Okay, so what we're going to do in Scale is we're going to remove all the folders with a dot in front of them. All the folders with a dot in front of them, and you can actually see it's dot compass, dot config, emerald, cheek. Okay, so basically how it works is um, if you've got emerald and compass, and you've got to obviously back up those two folders. For the rest, it's the .config, the .local, and all the folders with .g in front of it. Don't worry about the KDE, that's a custom folder I made. Okay, so it's all the Gs, all the .gs, .local, .config. Those are the folders that matter. If you've got Emerald and Compass, obviously, in any third-party app that might make a, a .con, like a con, .configuration file outside of .config, you have to back that up as well. But for now, those are the folders that we're going to worry about, okay? So I'm going to shift delete those. That's in scale. Now I'm going to go to my home directory. I'm going to go .config, .local, and then I'm taking all the Gs. So all the Gs. So .config, .local, and then all the Gs. Copy those over. Copy. Paste into scale. And then if you look here, you'll see the bash history, bash, DMRC, GTKRC2 profile. Okay, so those are the um, five uh, actual files that you have to back up. So it's a .config, .local, and then all the Gs, and then these five files. Okay, so we go down there, we go find them, .bash, that one, profile, that one. And I don't have a logout, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to paste them here and overwrite. Replace all. There we go. And that's it. I have now backed up. Because look, your home folder is, is where all your settings for all your apps are stored. If you open your .config, you're going to see there's BleachBert, Evolution, OpenBox, Alex Session, Linux Mint. This is where all your, there's Synapse, Thunar, all your settings, there's variety. All your settings are stored here. Understand? In inside your home folder so literally if you change the desktop change the wallpaper if you change anything it is stored inside your home folder this is why you need to back them up otherwise you're gonna make a new ISO and it's not gonna keep save your desktop changes okay so the rule of thumb is you copy from Makulu home home your home directory to etc scale and you copy over the dot config the dot local and then all the G's okay so that's it those are the folders that matter if you install anything extra like for example here's dot mozilla 
now Mozilla is your Firefox now obviously Firefox settings don't get saved inside the config they get saved on their own then you copy that folder as well but I've already got one there um, so any third-party app that you might install after you've you know obviously installed the default Makulu and it makes a a uh, extra config folder outside and you want to save the settings of that app you will have to copy that over as well but by default these are the ones that matter dot local dot config and anything that starts with dot g just copy those all over that's it done and now you go and start makulu constructor start it okay next year it actually tells you um first you need to copy your contents home folder contents to etc scale okay so we've done that yes put in your password enter enter again it wants to know what you want to name the distro as i'm going to leave it as makulu linux but if you want to put another name there you can put in there or you can put in custom enter and it starts to build that's it that's how easy it is copy home to scale dot dot config dot local and all the dot g's and once that's updated and then you just start building it will now go on its own it's automated afterwards it will pop out the ISO I'm gonna stop this the ISO will be in your file system home snapshot this is where the ISO will be file system home snapshot and that's it done that's how easy it is to respin Makulu easier than anything else in the whole world and when you actually boot up that ISO it will boot up like this one it will have install installer icon on the desktop that you can just, just double click run and install the distribution very 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 easy cool if you have any questions just ask on the Makulu website thank you